Good day, happy travelers. Vacation Travel Hacks here talking about the Princess Seven Day Western Caribbean Cruise with stops in Costa Maya, Belize, Roboton, Honduras, and Cozumel. If you're watching this, you're either already booked on this cruise or you're scouting it to seeing what the, the stops, what, what's available, what's to do. And uh, the goal of this video is to talk about the logistics to get you on the ship from the airport. And of course, some free excursion options that may be available at each port of call. And we'll also give a high level overview of some paid excursions that are available at each port of call. This cruise starts in Fort Lauderdale. The price, uh, you know, was six forty nine. Is now four forty nine. That's the cheapest you can get it on if you haven't already booked. And your three uh, ship options, depending upon the date that you select, is the Enchanted Princess, Sky Princess, and Caribbean Princess. So, and so we got a lot to talk about here. Here's a map of Fort Lauderdale, and I just want to show you real quick. Port Everglades is right here, and the Princess Cruise Terminal, we'll, we'll zoom in here in a minute, uh, is right at the top right of this, right here. Uh, it's worth noting that you should tip, I, a best practice is to fly in the day before the cruise. Not necessarily because you're really far away from the cruise port, but all the, the could be airline system outages, TSA staffing shortages, air traffic control shortages, mechanical issues, pilot strikes, Whatever it is, something could delay you from arriving the day of your cruise. Arriving a day early, yeah, you might have to spend the night at a hotel, but at least you're at the hotel and heading to the cruise port is not too bad. Also, there's a lot of hotels in and around really close to the airport, uh, so there, there's no, no shortage of options. And you have a couple different options to get to the cruise terminal once you're at the uh, hotel. Uh, option one, uh, I don't want to call it a best practice, but what we can do is, uh, you know, go to the hotel, uh, use the free hotel shuttle, take the free ho hotel shuttle back to the airport, and then you can use the cruise uh, transportation services to the cruise port. Some hotels may offer a complimentary shuttle to the cruise port, and some hotels used to have, I know this, used to have complimentary shuttles, but now it is a charge per option. Uh, so you can kind of see what, what option is best for you. SAS Transportation Services is another uh, group that we use in the Fort Lauderdale area. They get us to Port Everglades. They get us to the Port of Miami. Uh, you also got Uber, Taxi, Lyft. There's no shortage of options to get to the, the, the cruise port. Once you do, uh, your, your driver will probably be well-versed. Terminal 2 is the Princess uh, terminal. It could switch, I suppose. Uh, that, that hasn't been my experience. Port of Miami is the only one where I've seen it swap. Could happen. Uh, just be prepared, pay attention to the signage uh, and uh, any communications from the cruise line. Otherwise, pre, uh, Port Terminal 2 is your way out. Otherwise, you'll get on the ship, you'll head out, and you'll head to Costa Maya. Is there free things to do here? Yes, there is. There's a, a lot of uh, shopping that can be done, a lot of walking around, seeing the sights, water, can take a selfie, uh, and that kind of stuff. And uh, that's, you know, pretty good for free. Uh, some of the uh, paid options that exist, uh, let's, let's go back and we will hit escape here. There is always a uh, something to do. And it's I don't want to say it's cookie cutter, but you can always go and expect a snorkel and go on the beach and, uh, you know, dr drive around, get a tour of the city. But this is what is available on the Princess site right now. Uh, there's a beach escape with an open bar. Look at that. Like, hey, we're in the water. Woo, fun, All right? Uh, glass bottle, uh, glass bottom boat and a snorkel experience. The thing I like about Princess is their excursion prices, com certainly compared to other ones that I've been on, uh, is pretty reasonably priced. Uh, so that's, uh, I, I think that's worth noting. And what about a Segway? Princess is one of the few that I've seen offer a Segway at any, any excursion. I'm not much of a Segway guy, but I have done the Dolphin Encounter. And uh, that's, anytime you can get a picture of a dolphin, uh, you, you are better for it. I'm actually looking at a picture of my kid getting kissed by a dolphin right now. But here, here's the big win right here. The pyramids, the Mayan pyramids. Next time I go, I, I shopped. Last time I didn't do any paid excursion. Last time I was in uh, this port, 
Uh, but this time I think I'm, I'm, I'm going to go to the pyramids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a little bit of a drive and the reviews will say as much. Uh, but I, I think that's, that's what I want to do. And, uh, well, because I've been to the Mexico city pyramid of the sun and pyramid of the moon. Otherwise you can, there's more ruins to look at. There's a different culture, more swimming, more pyramids, more swimming. If you're a scuba uh, diver, you can get a two tank scuba from 150. And then uh, wrap it up with a 4x4 safari and beach trip. They just drive around on the beach. Eh, pretty good. You can't, you can't beat that. All right, next stop is uh, Cozumel. Is there free, uh, something to do for free here? Yeah, yeah, there's lots of shopping. So looking at the beach, hanging out, just relax, get off the boat, rest a little bit. Uh, is there stuff to do that you can pay? Oh, yeah, you betcha. There's always something to do that you can pay. If you missed your chance to go to the pyramids at the first stop, you can go to the pyramids at the second stop. Look at these people. Want to hang out at the beach? Ta-da, you're at the beach. And you're you're eating and uh, protecting yourself, your eyes from with the sunglasses. Then there's a, an interactive reef restoration excursion where I guess you're res helping restore the reef or watching other people ex explore the reef. Everyone loves Ray. I did this one in uh, Grand Cayman. Uh, the rays are... Uh, it's, it's pretty fun. It uh, makes me nervous. Want to eat some chocolate seaside? Sure. There you go. Taste it and pair it with some wine. Looks like a lot of fun. Otherwise, you can uh, eat chocolate, look at some Mayan ruins, or look at some Mayan ruins. Look at these guys right here. They're eating chocolate and their glass bottom boat submersible. Uh, either way, it's 60 bucks a person. Again, the prices, you really can't beat it. Twister Speedboat. Now, this is absolutely what I'm talking about right here. Uh, but it includes a meal. Yeah, sure, it's strenuous, but it includes a meal. And uh, I, 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 we're, we're definitely, that is on the list of things for the committee to consider. Otherwise, you can hang out on the beach, on a boat. Uh, look at these people here. They're like, hey, look at me. I'm, I'm by a rock. And it's, uh, you know, pretty, pretty cool. More, more dolphin stuff, more Jeeps, cheaper Jeeps, though. Jeep and snorkel. The other Jeep was, you know, 320 bucks. This Jeep is just $90. So that's... You know, you got to, and the cool thing about shopping for excursions before you start buying is you get to compare and contrast and see what you want to do. Look at it, Genie's Beach right here, or Jenny's, I think it's Genie's. Uh, one of these helmet dives, 130 bucks. There you go. You're underwater, you get a picture. My brother did this, highly recommends it. He, uh, he did it in St. Thomas. Uh, it was one of the, a lot of fun. More ruins, lots of ruins, always ruins somewhere. Look at this, Scoop Coop. Where else are you going to go? But Mexico to do a scoop coop. So, all right. So that's close them out. Then you end on down to Mahogany Bay, Roatan, Honduras, one of my favorite cruise ports. Uh, and it's the, the, the boat parks here. You swim here, the boat's in the background. Uh, and you can do that for free. You, you can get off the boat, wind down this path here, and you're at the beach. There's chairs for free. Uh, the, the umbrella chairs are not free, they are reserved. I've seen people get kicked off of those. Uh, but yeah, I've been here about four times, maybe five. All cruises blend together right now, but uh, a lot of fun. Uh, or you can pay. There's a little ski lift you can pay. I actually, let me just show you. I showed you what to do for free. Now let's talk about some uh, some paid options here. Uh, there you go. There's this uh, chairlift I was talking about. You got your your boat in the background. Uh, you know, always cool to get the boat in the background. These are the uh, the clam shows you can get. So you'll be there for six, six and a quarter hours, six hours, 15 minutes, 50 bucks. I, I, that's cheaper than a, <laughs> I mean, it's pretty cheap. That's pretty reasonable. Uh, you want to go hang out with some monkeys. I believe there's a sloth excursion. Uh, there's, I mean, w what do you want to do? It's, it's here. It's fun. You can snorkel. You can hang out in a submarine. You can go hang out with birds or, or lions, I guess, uh, you know, a little lion excursion. Go uh, far away sightseeing. Look at that. Uh, let's see what four far away sightseeing is. I, I don't recall seeing that. Two and a half, three stars. Let's explore what it is and why it's three stars. Overview. All right. Wear your swimming suit. It's good to know. All right. Details. You'll be transported on a minibus. Holds. It's 30 minutes. It's not super far away. And it looks like a little tour. So why, why are these people, let's see why people are upset with this little excursion. 3.3, it's excellent. Jennifer did a great job. 
It was excellent sights and sounds. It was excellent, excellent scenic. Very, all right. So let's see if we can't figure out why we're getting some one stars. Do not waste your money. The village stop was going to be for us. The highlight turned out to be two female dancers who seemed bored to death uh, with a tip jar. The other, <laughs> well, it was disappointing. They, they were not, they weren't happy. Not worth their money. There was nothing to see. We stopped, took pics, said we had to at least uh, stay there 10 minutes and we would be done in two minutes. Nope. Buses being, <laughs> well, you know, you, you really get the, the best of both worlds here. You had some five-star reviews, some one-star reviews. I, I'd go on it just to see where it falls. Let's see, let's see the balance people here, all right? That's a diabolical tour. The transport on this trip was diabolical. The tour guide was very good, but the tour was a letdown. Uh, the, so they, they, didn't, they weren't happy with the vehicle. Jazzy was very patient and fun. Luckily, the swimming lagoon was being cleaned. And uh, we could not swim there. We were taking a big French key. Well, I, I still don't know if this is uh, good or bad. Not quite perfect. The same person that got the five star was fantastic. Uh, only thing was the excursion said we would get a small bite to eat. Unfortunately, we didn't get anything. They were hungry. They, they, they were absolutely hungry. Very boring. You know. All right. Well, I, sometimes you just... Got to risk it for the biscuit. So uh, Roatan, there is absolutely something for everybody. And the reviews, if you're unsure as to whether or not you want to go, uh, then, well, now, now we know. We, we learned something about that. Uh, Belize City. Now, you don't pull up to the port at Belize City. Uh, you will get uh, on little mini boats. You, you will anchor out here and you'll boat in. And then you can walk around the city. And that's that's nice. Uh, so is there something to f for free to do here? Yeah, there is. You you you, you can shop and uh, take in uh, some of the some of the sites there. Otherwise, in Belize, let's see some of the paid options that you can do. You know, open air trolley. I mean, that's pretty reasonably priced. That's for forty dollars. Uh, you missed your chance to go to ruins and the other ports. You can go to ruins in these ports. Different ruins. Uh, go to the barrier reef tubing. Some sharks and ray encounters. More ruins, more ruins, more tubing, and there you go. So there's uh, something, uh, something for everybody here. Uh, final tips and thoughts. Uh, if you can do the anytime dining on the cruise ship, it has the most flexible uh, flexibility in regards to entertainment. The entertainment it happens at fixed times. If you have late dining, you might miss a show that's only available once. You might miss a family uh, comedian or you know, whatever else is going on that day. Uh, I always uh, encourage uh, anytime dining, if you can take it, do it for entertainment flexibility. We already talked about flying in the day before Fort Lauderdale. You're probably going to fly into FLL. And actually, Fort Lauderdale typically has better prices than Miami. But if there's a sale, you can fly into Miami. It's just getting from Miami to uh, to Fort Lauderdale might negate any, uh, any costs, uh, any savings. But uh, try SAS if that's if you think so. SAS Transportation, they, they got us from Fort Lauderdale to the Port of Miami. I'm sure they'd have no problem picking you up and taking you there. It's not super far away. It's about 40 minutes. Uh, most hotels have uh, shuttles to the port. Just call them to, to check out check out what's going on. Uh, should be okay to fly home anytime afternoon. Uh, and this port, if I was to ever adjust that, I, I, I might, you know. I always put noon to be safe. You know, worst case scenario, you can be leisure, leisurely getting off the boat you know, enjoying the complimentary breakfast, not doing the massive lines of people at customs and all that stuff. Just, I, I, I don't know. I, I prefer not to be in a rush. Uh, but you, you could certainly, I don't know. This one I could see probably 10, 11. Uh, but anyway, I'm still going to stick with 12. It's stressing me out thinking about leaving, leaving early and having to, to, to navigate it. Uh, and then day one kids club, if you got kids and kids clubs, part of your itinerary, it's great to get them in on day one. Everyone's new. Everyone's doing the bonding. I messed up one time and got them in on day two. A lot of the, the friendships were already made and it, it was not, not the, the best experience. So we, we do it on day one now. So anyway, if this is your cruise ship, you're going to have a fantastic time. If you're thinking about this being your cruise ship, 
it's a good one. The itineraries, this is one of my favorite itineraries. The stops are great. The excursions, whatever. There's no wrong way to cruise. Whatever you choose, uh, you know, to do your the cruise ship picks them for you to have fun. So you're going to have a blast. They're, the intent is to have fun. And uh, so I hope you have a blast. And I'll, if, uh, I'll, I'll see you in the next video.